116 shares. Hey, Mark. Good morning, Mr. Penny. Uh, I certainly want to salute you and the Southern Company from the first time away from coal burning. Uh, it's never seemed a good thing for the people of Georgia to send $2 billion a year out of state for coal, so that seems a good thing. And uh, I was delighted to hear you say you were bullish on solar last year. Uh, Absolutely. I think there are over 6,000 solar energy jobs in Georgia now, two major manufacturing plants, one in Dublin and one in uh, Gwinnett County. And uh, as a homeowner, I would like to install solar panels on my house, but I'm a little hesitant to write that check for $30,000 or $40,000, as you can imagine. So uh, I'm excited about third parties coming in some of those panels. So I was very disappointed to see Georgia Power fight so hard against uh, Senate Bill 401 that would have uh, opened up Georgia to more renewables and would have meant many more thousands of jobs for Georgia. So I, I realize this is a regulated state, so uh, there are some issues, but uh, this is moving forward in a lot of states, and it seems like it's our private property, so that would be some way to work this out for the good of uh, homeowners and the Southern Company. Mark, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Uh, we remain very bullish on, on solar. When we think about renewables, I think renewables are exceedingly important in this nation's energy future. My sense is, until we see significant technology innovation, and my sense is this is probably going to be very late in this decade or beyond that, we still are going to get, by far, the lion's share of our electricity from central station uh, resources. So. I think renewables will be important. I don't think they're going to displace in any significant way um, the big central station gas. Now, let's talk about solar for a minute. Why am I bullish on solar? I really think that, particularly when I say solar, I'm particularly bullish on the thin film photovoltaic applications. Uh, they are not big consumers of water. And I think with what I believe are continuing innovations in the production cost curves, that is, thin film is getting more and more economic to produce, and with further innovations in terms of the translation of sunlight into electricity, I think one day thin film uh, technologies will be pretty important here in the southeast. Of course, we have pretty good solar intensity. We're seeing more solar uh, elsewhere in the United States, particularly in California, the desert southwest, where there's really good solar resources, and the northeast a little bit, strangely enough. Interestingly, solar is really expensive compared to the energy we produce. And so you tend to see more penetration of solar where there are higher prices. So uh, our low price position here um, you know, makes it a little uneconomic right now. Um, interestingly, you talk about Georgia Power. The issue, I think, that you related uh, really goes more not to whether we're bullish or not on solar, but rather goes to this franchise law that we need to protect. That's the law under which Georgia Power operates and makes retail sales here in the state. So that, let's deal with that issue separately. Georgia Power on its own uh, has just, is in the process, I guess, of receiving uh, 50 megawatts of solicitations for uh, solar projects. We also have other solar uh, R&D going on, both at Georgia Power, Alabama Power. We have solar installations on distribution poles. So we're looking at a variety of things. Taking, taken together what Georgia Power is doing on its own, it represents the 13th largest penetration of solar in the United States. So pretty, pretty good stuff, pretty good track record. And I think in the years ahead, it'll become more and more important. Next question. 